Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to place trades within a chart in the CQG desktop platform. So to start off, I'm going to open up a new desktop window. To do this, head over to the left-hand side of your screen, click on the More button, and then click on Add Page, and then click on Empty Page. This is pretty self-explanatory, but this will give you an empty desktop to work with. As you can see, the current one on my, I'm on is pretty cluttered. So I'm going to name this demo, click OK, and now I have a blank desktop to work with. So as I said, this is about placing trades within a chart. So we're going to open up the chart widget. To do this, click the add a widget button. And as you can see here, the first option we have is for charts. And we have multiple different types of charts. This is really up to your preference. I'm going to open up a line chart. Click on line. And now we have my line chart. Once you open up a chart, this is where the customization really comes into play. As I said before, the customization features of this platform are virtually endless. You can really fine tune it to your liking. So as you can see, the platform automatically opened up the crude light of April 2018 for me at a 60 minute interval. If you did want to change your contract you're trading with, simply go to the bottom left hand corner of your window click on the search box and you can type in whatever contract you'd like to trade with. For my demo, I'll be keeping this contract. You can also change it under the simple info button in the top here. You can search your contract you'd like to trade with and you also have a bunch of information on the contract you're trading with. Here I have a global crosshair just to see where your mouse is easier. I have a show and hide additional info up here in the top left. I can change my interval of my chart. I can change it to one minute, 10 minutes, 60 minutes, daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. Down here, I can change the type of chart I'm trading with. So you can really change it on the fly. It doesn't really matter what you choose in the beginning. I'll change it back to, to the line. In here, I have some more settings, but I'll keep everything as default. For our final chart customization feature, we have the plus study button located down here. This button allows you to add preloaded tools, indicators, and studies to help traders analyze trends in the data provided. So for example, if I click the plus study button, as you can see, I have multiple different studies preloaded into the platform. For my example, I'll be showing the Bollinger Band study. And if I click add and close, as you can see here, I have the Bollinger Bands to help me measure the volatility within my chart. Let's say, for example, I wanted to close out these Bollinger Bands. Simply head back to the wheel icon down here, the Manage Chart button. And if I go under the Study section and I click the drop down arrow, I can remove the Bollinger Bands from my chart. And then I can just close out this window. Now, for the real purpose of this video, trading within a chart. So if you head down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen and you click on these double arrow buttons pointing to the left, it now opens up the sidebar that allows you to place trades within your chart. Once you'd open up the sidebar, you'll notice all the different numerous options we have to trade with. At the top here, we have the buy and sell at market buttons. And right below that, we have the adjustable price buttons. You can adjust your price by clicking the up or down arrows. And as you can see, these buttons adapt to the price you have set your trade at. Below the market, I gain access to the limit and stop buttons. You can see the giant red button has split into two. And it's the vice versa. If I go above the market, my long button splits in two. Now right below that, we have the order types. We can change it by stop or a stop limit. And to the right of that, we have the order duration. We can change it by day. We have good till canceled, good till day, good till time, fill and kill, or fill or kill. And right below that, we can adjust the amount of contracts we are trading with. You can do this manually, or they have preset intervals for you, set by two, set by five, or set by 10. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. 
Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.